verify that the functions f of x equals the cube root of 2 e to the x plus 17 and g of x, which is the difference of ln of x cubed minus 17 and ln of 2, are inverses to each other. So remember that this just means we have to check two conditions, that f of g of x is always equal to x, and that g of f of x are always equal to x. So these two sort of mutual annihilation conditions. Let's focus on this one first. So we're going to go and compute what f of g of x is. Remember, f of anything is the cube root of 2 times e to that thing plus 17. So now we're just going to go and replace g by its formula. So we have the cube root of 2 times e to the power ln of x cubed minus 17 minus ln of 2 plus 17. Now notice that you have a difference of logarithms up here, and we have rules of logarithms that allow us to compress that. So let's do that real fast. We're going to have the cube root of 2 times e to the power, this is just going to be ln of the first argument divided by the second one. So x cubed minus 17 will be the numerator, and 2 will be the denominator. And then don't forget the plus 17. Now notice that you have e to the ln of an expression. Since e and ln are inverses, these two terms cancel. And so what we're left with is the cube root of 2 times the quantity x cubed minus 17 divided by 2 plus 17. But now the 2's cancel. And so what we're left with is the cube root of the quantity x cubed plus 17, or minus 17, sorry, plus 17. Now those parentheses don't need to be there, and that means that the 17 and the negative 17 cancel. And so what we've got is the cube root of x cubed. But then these two things cancel. And so what we're left with at the end is just x. So the first condition checks. Now we gotta focus on the second condition, the one in pink. So let's compute g of f of x. Remember, g of anything is ln of that thing cubed, so in this case, the quantity f of x cubed, minus 17, minus the natural logarithm of two. So if we replace f by its formula, this is the natural logarithm of the cube root of 2 e to the x plus 17, quantity cubed, take away 17, minus ln 2. But you have a cube root cubed, and so those two expressions cancel, and we're left with the natural logarithm of the quantity 2 e to the x plus 17. Then we take away 17 from that, and then we take away ln of 2 from the whole thing. But now the plus 17 and the minus 17 cancel, and so we have the natural logarithm of twice e to the x minus the natural logarithm of 2. But this expression is a product, so I can break it apart using law, rules of logs as ln of 2 plus ln of e to the x. And then I have that minus ln of 2 right there. Now notice that the first ln2 and the last ln2 cancel, and so we get the natural logarithm of e to the x. Since the natural logarithm and e to the x are inverses, they cancel, and I'm left with, once again, x. That means that the second condition meets, and since both conditions meet, that means that f and g are, in fact, inverses to each other.